and welcome everybody here in Twitch Chats and everybody on YouTube for our first deck in our best of one day Monday stream. We're bringing five decks to the table here in best of one, starting with Abzan Wolves. That's right, we're going to be playing our Wolves deck with focused on Wolf Tribal because of Night Pack Ambusher, giving our Wolves and Werewolves plus one plus one. And also Tulsimer, whenever a wolf enters the battlefield under your control, you gain three life, and then you may have that creature fight another creature if if you choose. So the, that's our, our wolf synergies with these two. So to add on some extra wolves, of course, we got the Wickedest Wolf in there, and of course, Garrick that can make some wolves as well. So that's the top end of our deck. And then the rest of the deck is kind of staying alive, getting card advantage, um, and so on. So the Nightpack Ambusher, it rewards you for not playing spells during your turn. Which is tough to do with, with a deck like this with all the sorcery speed stuff. So what I'm going to try doing is I'm going to be trying to um, harness the power of Vivian Champion of the Wilds with the um, ability there to give your creature spells flash. So we got three Vivians in here that we can have all of our creatures have flash um, to help out Nightpack Ambusher. Um, also with the minus ability we can cast creatures. Um, so that means that we need to play a lot of creatures. So you can see we have a whole lot of creatures in here. I got one Charming Prince that can just kind of be a um, a Swiss Army Knife type card with the three different modes, depending on what we want. And then we also have the Knight of Autumn also that can be a Swiss Autumn Knight as well that has the three modes. So just in case we need one of these things, since it's just best of one, we have some different options there. Vivian can help find them. Of course, the card advantage from Midnight Reaper um, helps out too. And I'm playing one once upon a time uh, that can also kind of help select those. I wanted to play more once upon a times, um, but you know, once upon a time is not a card to, to Vivian minus, and I didn't really have room for them. I didn't really want to cut lands. I didn't really want to cut the Legion's ends. I didn't really want to cut the creatures. So didn't really have room for him. So we just we got the one that can kind of help out um, when need be. I'm honestly not exactly sure how this works. Um, so Vivian minus two, you look at the top three and you, for as long as it remains, you choose a card. For as long as it remains exiled, you may look at the card and you may cast it if it's a creature. Does that mean you get to cast the swift end part of Murderous Rider? I, I don't think it does because that'd be casting an instant. So I don't think it does. But I honestly don't, I'm honestly not exactly sure. There may be somebody in chat right now that's going to going to tell me how that works. Anyway, since I'm playing Wicked Wolf, uh, we do want to make some foods with Wicked Wolf. That's why we got the geese here. I think I, I originally thought about like not even playing Wicked Wolf and then, you know, not playing beast, play more once upon a time, more twos and so on. But I think decided to, to put the Wicked Wolves in here also. So we got some geese. Um, and uh, okay, you you cannot cast. Okay, so you can only cast the murderous rider part. You cannot cast swift end. That's what I. That's what I would have thought. Um, I also considered putting uh, since since we were playing wicked wolf and geese. Since we want more food, I considered playing cauldrons familiar and witch's oven, another way to get more food. Um, but it kind of took up took up too many slots, and so I decided to move away from that. All right, anyway, we're going to play seven games. That's what we're doing with the, the best of one decks. We're going to be playing seven games over in ranked with each one. So let's start with Abzan Wolves. Let's see how it does. Where's the Murderous Rider card style? It's... I don't like playing like with the one card style that's different from the rest. I like my cards kind of matching. So... Yeah, Vivian would be pretty OP with Adventures if he could. I mean, Once Upon a Time is pretty OP with Adventures because you get to do that, but. <laughs> Please be good, Abzan Wolves. Yeah, hopefully it is. We'll see. Hmm. I'm going to be keeping, but. Do I lead with Temple of Malady? I'm on the play.
If I lead with Goose, and let's say we draw an untapped land, then I get to play, like, Vivian turn two. But then my turn three is going to be really bad. I'm going to lead with Temple of Malady. Good. And, and just also look for, like, more land, like, try to hit other land drops. I think this works out just fine. We're going to have a better turn three, turn four, turn five, and such. Like, we're not going to need to use the Geese's uh, food. So it'll be better for Wicked Wolf here. They'll still have the three mana for these cards. Hey, what's up, Storm? Bangalore? Um, Temple of Epiphany. I'm going to go ahead and play this card against Temple of Epiphany. I think I want to tick up, though. Let's I don't think I want to minus and just let a shock kill my champion. <laughs> Definitely got to get the attack in. Puppies whine less than you. Critical attack here. It's a pretty loose use of the word critical, but boom. All right, Nickel Bulls really felt that one. They're scared over there now. All right, so at least they crushed the bones of the goose and not Vivian. No lands. You can still walk away. That's bold. Not playing a single land. Wow. They didn't have they didn't have lands. They knew that Vivian was too good. And that's it. Got our 25 XP. <laughs> Leave it here, undefeated. Yeah, we had such a good hand, I know. Our hand was so good there. We could have had much a much worse hand and still won that game. All right, looking good. My opponent has sleeves I don't. These are the Twilight Sporkle Sleeves. That horse does look pretty happy. Like a city brat. I, maybe I should have just minus here. I guess they're gonna have less. They're not. They're not gonna have like the damage removal, but they have like murderous rider that could kill it immediately. Maybe I should have just minus last turn. Now I gotta worry about the questing beast. In nature. Yeah, questing beast could be a problem. Hey, Carlos. We need even Rankle would be annoying. Do 
this land, we are all connected. Rise, my elemental friend! Dulcimer? Ever lost a home? Darn. Is Tulsimer, we could have killed the Edgewall Innkeeper and then killed the Nyssa. Um, I have not made any healers deck. I don't think. I got just a life a life gain deck? I don't think so. I don't remember saying I don't remember saying I was gonna make a life gain deck. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Not saying that I didn't, but I don't remember that. My opponent will eventually learn to not just attack randomly with the land. wonder in a blade of grass. The land will not forsake you. Um I know I don't get the trigger with Night Pack Ambusher. But well, my opponent only has two lands. I'm gonna destroy this Paradise Druid. Time's up. GG's. Yeah, Vivian Champion Wild, sweet. Yeah, pretty good against Nissa lands. When you got four fours. I mean, my four fours had flash anyway, so I guess the Vivian didn't didn't help out as much there. Yep, the prince is here to yep flicker, flicker like the Tulsimer, um, and then also just just scry. To, it's just an it's just a fifth two drop to play, so I don't just only have the Paradise Druid. So it's also just a scry two card. Um, or, you know, like, this is best of ones. So there's a lot of aggro, so sometimes you need to gain that life. You know, just kind of, it can just kind of do a lot of things. And it's just, it's just kind of playing, like, one more two drop. You know, I basically, I wanted five. I didn't, I didn't want just four. And I think it's the best card to play. Hmm. On the draw. Hey, Apta, welcome. <laughs> hey, thanks, thanks for watching like every single YouTube video. Thank you so much. Will do. The goose. All right, that was a honking good draw. Looks like we got an, an looks like we got a mirror match here. <laughs> the puns are on point today. Thanks, Xerves. 
Hey, we got a new sub also. After Rookie, welcome to the channel. Thanks, Bertalux. Whoa, Beast Whisperer. That's pretty cool. Yeah, now, now you get to throw out hype boats every time we get a new sub as well. Alright, down to 16. Wow, the, the Beast Whisperer getting killed by a beast. Is this like... Hmm. Can't tame the lions. Do you have an opinion on what the best current build for Soul Typhoon is? People seem to main deck Casualties of War now. Yeah, I mean, Casualties of War does. It is pretty awesome in mirror matches. Um, I personally like the six mana Planeswalkers more than Casualties of War. Both Liliana and Garrick are just awesome cards. They're really powerful, and you can find them off of Trail of Crumbs. And so if you're playing a late game like that with Trail of Crumbs, I want to play the permanence <clears throat> more So I can't double spell with Vivian yet. Oh wait, I guess I could if I use Doug Goose. I think I'll just wait a turn for that. I'm gonna I'm gonna wolf eat this thing. Oh, you don't even have to go into full control mode, it just stops for you? That's nice. Um, I, yeah, I guess I should. Definitely consider not using the food here and saving it for the goose and just, just letting my Wicked Wolf die and draw in a card. But no, it's, it's better to just use the food. You can Oko Oko if you're playing. Um, you just have to play Cavalier of Dawn. Cavalier of Dawn Oko's Oko. So that is an option. Yeah, I'm definitely going to Night of Autumn this food token. Kidding me? Can't let this goose get too fat. It doesn't need more food. I have to blow it up. This is unfortunate. I only have two black. Didn't have a third black source to be able to Legion's End as well. Thanks, Anatran. Yeah, this deck's going pretty good so far. 
Oh yeah. Yeah, we definitely don't need Nick those in this format. You don't you don't definitely don't need Nick those with Cavalier of Thorns. Definitely not. Attack. My opponents, yeah, they're playing like an infinite combo deck. Trying to like draw their deck and everything. And how they win, they... Um, they could... Like, they'll, they'll play... They probably play like the... Like, Cruel Celebrant. Like whenever one of their cre whenever one of their creatures dies, and like the other one, the two the two black white cards. Like so, whenever one of their creatures dies, the opponent loses a life, and like whenever a creature enters, they lose a life. Like those cards, and so they can just turn through the deck and draw lots of cards with Midnight Reaper, Beast with uh, Beast Whisperer, and that that enchantment. Yeah, Corpse Knight. So yeah, Corpse Knight and Cruel Celebrant. That is true. Yeah, we're getting back. Our the end of our day yesterday, we lost like our last like four matches. So we went back down towards the bottom of Diamond, where we're at right now. But. Yeah, we're get we're getting back up there with maybe with these with best of one today. We we'll get to mythic. We'll see. <laughs> Keep reading best of one as boy. Abs and wolves, boy. Golgari wolves. Where's Hawkeye? Hmm. He's not on the couch. Uh, uh, he's curled up on the bed. Laying there having a good nap. So they mold the six. They don't think the reefs. I don't, don't think the tide is high enough, at the very least. Ain't no wolves for the wicked. Uh, uh, Riz and reefs don't grow on trees. that bad though. I mean, it's kind of whatever. The real question is if they have another one. I'll start attacking these blue sources. 
Valk with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much there, Valk. I appreciate that. <laughs> um, I guess I'm not playing Vivian. Yeah, here, Agent Treachery. Oh, we just had another sub. Valk with that sub. Yeah, I need to mark it down. All right. Where are we at? We're at Diamond Tier 2. Abzan Wolves is sweet. Yeah, this deck is sweet. Yeah, Ambusher Ambusher Tulsimer is awesome. Yeah, glad glad we had. Yeah, I guess I should have just killed the agent and the agent and treachery right away, but I don't know. Glad I took out the blue source so they couldn't just quasi duplicate that agent and treachery right away. Yeah, I think this could work in best of three. There's a lot of good sideboard options in uh, abs and colors for sure. I didn't really make a sideboard for it today. I didn't really make sideboards for the decks today. But yeah, it could definitely work. Turn one goose. Elk collector. Why would we want to collect pelts when we can like, end entire legions? I guess they're deciding between playing Harpooner or holding up the Bone Crusher Giant. So they kill Reaper, we go down to 17. They attack, we go down to 14. I shock, we go down to 12. Life total is not too high right now. Down to six. Back up to nine. And now playing these Wicked Wolves will gain us life to fight, or I can also just not play anything, gain life, fight. If I draw it on tap land, I can get, I can zero here, make two, three threes and fight. This puts a 2-2 wolf into play. All of these things you said to me. Hmm. If I play the wicked wolf, I get to attack for seven. I guess I just want it. Oh wait, this thing was just going to be a five. Oh, but that thing has death touch. Right, right, right. So I don't want that to happen. Okay. On a 
So I don't get the attack in, but I get the other ambusher down. Now these are going to be five fives. All right, so it's cool to play five fives, but I want to play Garrick. I am what they call. You stay on the trail. So also they'd have like one removal for my five five for some reason. All right, back up to twelve. We outgrueled the gruel deck. Like, they curved out turn one Pelt Collector, turn two Harpooner, turn three Kill Your Thing with Bone Crusher Giant, turn four Beast, turn five Beast, turn six, or then, then I guess play the Bone Crusher Giant again on turn six, and now Hellkite on seven. And they're dead. Pretty good curve out. But good thing we were on the play. <laughs> if, if my opponent was on the play with that, it would have been a lot different. All right, we're five and zero. Oh. Yeah, Garrick Tulsimer, such such awesome synergy. Yeah. Uh, no, I've not faced an Oko deck yet. Yeah, we probably would have. Yeah, I think we would have lost that if we were on the draw. But then also, if we were on the draw, maybe my opponent doesn't actually have, like, that that first questing beast. Because, you know, they only had a couple of cards we didn't know about. And, you know, maybe that extra card helps them curve out like that, too. They're on the play. <sighs> Hallowed Fountain. So the Temple of Malady is going to be my fourth land to play. Unless we draw another on tap land here, that'd be the best. There we go. Oh, but it's not double green. It's unfortunate it's not double green. I don't need it now. So otherwise, because, you know, I would like to have, like, if they, if they Kaya's Wrath, I would like to have a food left over for a wolf, but... And the following lands make me groan when the opponent plays them. Mountain, Breeding Pool, Forest, Hallowed Fountain. You know, nothing good can ever come from that. Hey, Rabbit says I was playing this deck yesterday, but I didn't know what to put, what to play on the curve for the three CMC slot. Glad I came in to watch the stream because I like the murderous writer. So there we go. Hmm.
I don't know if I want to allow them to... Kaya's Wrath, both of these ambushers. Slow this down. Assuming they're bouncing this 3-3 three, three wolf. Huh. It's odd. I've got time. What? I don't know. You can do whatever you want. Don't ask me. So basically, I so I could have played the other night pack ambusher, but like let's say let's say I do that. Then I have both my ambushers out here. They just bounce the token, right? Then I, I hit Teferi for five, and I hit them for five. But then they untap and Kaya's Wrath, and both my ambushers are dead. Yeah, this is a pretty great hand for them. They got six of their eight eggs already. Dang, that is awesome. That is exactly what they want. Thankfully, they can't dance yet. So they can go to 12. Okay. I mean, now they're dead. They need to sack a golden egg to gain three life. Now they're dead. You want to know what the deck right now, Chisef? Awesome. Well, we're 6-0. and My opponent could not have played that Ashiok. They had to gain three life with sacking a golden egg. Okay. Six and oh, one more. Can we get the clean seven oh sweep? I don't think we've ever got we've gotten a lot of six ones. But I don't think we've ever clean seven oh sweeped in best of one on any of these decks. I don't think we have. <laughs> Time for Oko to smack some reality back into you. <laughs> psh, psh, psh. Reality. It's just a... It's like a glove. It has the word reality on it. Ugh. Well, I think this is going to be our first time to mulligan. Which also, that that's the thing. All of our... We've just had awesome hands here. You know, it's just been six really good hands. And everything like that. Good brother! Riso in 11 months. One more to go. Make that a year. Thank you so much there, good brother. I think I'd need to... Because, yeah, we're on the draw. I think I need to mulligan this. Alright, well, this is a good hand. I'm keeping Tulsimer. I'm keeping Paradise Druid. I'm keeping the lands. So we ha we're either putting back Rider or Champion. And with having Tulsimer, I'll put back Ryder. Hey, Aguanaba.
All right. Not bad, not bad. Um... I can't really avoid not shocking on turn two. Ah! Oh, should have gone fervent champion. Honestly, maybe I should have just waited a turn. Maybe I should have just played Paradise Druid and see if they play either of those again. Oh, man. Yeah, don't you hate to see that? Oh, man. I, I would have just Fervent Championed. Hmm. Okay. I don't know. I think I think this is going to be one where if we were on the play, we would have won, but we're on the draw, we're going to lose. That's what this is looking like. Cause I don't know how I'm going to survive the Stormfist Crusader. Yeah, this this Noxious Grasp is pretty tough because I can't even play like Tulsimer. I need to draw Charming Prince. I need to draw my one Charming Prince. That's the card I need. I need Charming Prince. Ugh. That doesn't do it. Um, I don't know if I would have, yeah, so if I would have Paradise Druid on turn two, I would have had better Legion's End. I don't know if that means I would have won, though. I don't know if, you know, like, my opponent's deck, deck still hit hard. Like, we would have taken another hit with, like, the, the Dreadhorde Butcher and everything. Like, like if I if I don't Legion's End that Dreadhorde Butcher, it was going to get really big and difficult to deal with and everything. You know, hindsight, I should have played the Paradise Druid on turn two instead of get rid of the Butcher with with this hand. But I don't I don't think that means we would have won. No, 3 CMC. No, we, we definitely don't really want a 3 CMC creature here. Um, yes, we're dead if we Legion's on the champion. The other creature has Menace. I can't. So I'm at 2. I can't block the other creature. That was kind of the opposite of the Gruel match. The Gruel match, I was on the play, and so uh, my cards lined up really well, and and you know took down an awesome curve from them. This time we were on the draw. 
But man, what what an amazing hand that was. You know, champion into Dreadhorde Butcher into champion plus, you know, another one drop plus the uh, the menace creature that makes you lose life, and then another fervent champion. Like sometimes they have hands like that. All right, so six one. We did not close out the seven zero. Um, but yeah, this deck was a lot of fun to play. It definitely looks strong. Uh, we got a lot of good anti um, aggro tools. The reason why I was saving Charming Prince was because Charming Prince, we could gain three life with it. And even though they could Noxious Grasp kill the Charming Prince, we could have gained three life. I could have Legion's End the... Um, so I would have gone to five. I could have Legion's End the 2-2 the two -two Menace and then the Fervent Champions. Or e even I could just Legion's End the Fervent Champions and gain three life. And then I, I wouldn't die to the the menace creature right away that was the card we needed to draw but yeah there's a lot of good stuff against aggro here the night pack ambushers were just amazing of course um you know just being able to flash this in block against smaller creatures and even against control deck flash it in end steps you don't have to worry about sweepers it's just an awesome card uh the vivians helped out against control in that way and also helped out with the night pack ambusher but then, yeah, we got the Wicked Wolves to fight small creatures. We got the Tulsmers to fight small creatures. We got, so, like, that's a lot of ways to, like, kill small creatures there. And, of course, the Legion's Ends help out there, too. I think that's something that you need in Best of One are ways to deal with aggro. And then, you know, against Control, like I talked about, the Night Pack Ambushers, the Vivians, um, Midnight Reapers, just an awesome card against Control, getting you extra cards and everything. So, yeah, I think this is a pretty good Best of One deck. Uh, it could have worked for Best of Three, absolutely. Um, we need more stuff in the sideboard. You need more ways to kill Planeswalkers in the sideboard. Probably more things to kill Oko. Um, you know, so Noxious Grasps. Uh, think, like, stuff like that. I wouldn't mind some more Night of Autumns, um, in the sideboard for your Wilderness Reclamation, um, Fires of Invention, decks like that. Your Doom Foretold. Like, all those four mana enchantments. So I wouldn't mind some more Night of Autumns in the sideboard. Um, and, uh... And yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, Veil of Summer, of course. Yeah, Veil of Summer. I mean, Duress is not bad. Yeah, you can definitely play like Duress also. Um, Black Lance Paragon is also... This is an underrated sideboard card for this kind of deck. If you're kind of looking at an under-the-radar sideboard card. Um, just because it's a flash creature, so you can you can hold it up with Ambusher, and it's really good against other green creatures if you're playing against like against Gruul. Like this is a very good card against Gruul, you know, blocking Questing Beast and things like that. Gruul Spellbreaker, you know, it has the life link at the death, you know, like that life link can matter. It's an underrated sideboard card. Also. Alright, that's our first best of one deck for today. Good one there, Abs and Wolves. All right, if you're watching on YouTube, you know what to do. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave some comments as well. But thank you so much for watching Abs and Wolves, and I'll see you for the next video.